up dudes, about to introduce this video, let you know what I'm doing here. But I got this new package here and I want to open it up and I want to show it to you. And I didn't know what it was until I opened it and it turns out to be monkey feet. And I think that's pretty cool because today my plan was to do a strict knees over toes workout. And I guess the guys that are involved with knees over toes know that I like knees over toes stuff and they keep sending me toys. So the, the other day I had that uh, anterior tibialis bar and then today I have monkey feet. I'm gonna have to use my damn monkey feet. I didn't plan on doing monkey feet. In fact, I planned on doing um, the zero routine, right? Which is just like the basic, the most basic routine in knees over toes. And this I think is for one of the more advanced exercises. I've never used one before, right? You attach it to your foot and you could do Leg curls, you could do uh, hip flexor curls, all kinds of cool stuff. I'm gonna mess around with this towards the end of the workout. Just so you're aware, and so I can bring you up to date. I'm working on that 300 pound stone. I failed this week. Still working on getting that heavy log over my head because I'm getting ready for a strongman show happening probably in the winter time. And uh, so it's a process, it's a journey, and along the way, I gotta back up sometimes, deload sometimes, and do some rehab work sometimes. And that's what you're gonna get me doing today. I also have Colleen coming in. She's gonna do an upper body workout. Enjoy watching us do what we do. When I come back, I'll give you a little bit of a review. And I'll see you in a soon. Probably have more problems with my lower leg than anywhere in my in my body. I had knee surgery when I was in high school. I had shin splints when I was in high school. I had a turf toe when I was in college. I tore my Achilles tendon. I was a strong man. I mean, 90% of my problems have emerged from and are located down below. And I think that's why this is so important for me to do. And uh, and that's why I dedicate at least one day a week to doing these KOT workouts. They're really helpful. So currently I'm dealing with probably the oddest of my lower leg injuries, which is completely acute. I must have stepped on some glass. And I have a splinter underneath my right foot that's been lodged in there for Going on two months maybe, maybe maybe longer. Three months, Colleen says three months. Three months I've had this in there. And uh, of course you can't see it right now, but I went and got an MRI two nights ago. And there's a likelihood I might have to have surgery, right? Like for stepping on something that got itself lodged in there. So another reason why it's important for me to do this is because I have compromised gait patterns. Even in the gym when I'm lifting, because it's hard for me to put pressure off of the ball of my right foot. I mean, that sucks. <laughs> but it's just what I'm dealing with, man. There's a whole lot you can learn from injuries, at least what I know I have and it causes me to take a few steps back. It's not always fun, but definitely an experience. Have you ever injured yourself? Have you ever taken your time to come back? What have you injured and what have you used as protocol to get back in the game after you busted yourself up? Let me know in the comments below.
what you call them? They're uh, Belgian shepherds. They call them Malinois. And like kind of a nickname for them are Maligators. People call them Maligators because they literally chew everything. Everything they want to put in their mouth. That's why they're good guard dogs. That's why I have them. Because they'll attack without, you know, without impunity. They will destroy you. But they just want to chew. Chew, 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 chew. <laughs> First, I just want to thank Animal House for sending me this. I did not request it. It was just something they decided they want to send to me because maybe they see me doing KOT workouts on YouTube. This is a perfect day for me to, to receive this because I'm doing my KOT workout. And so, just checking out the box, it's showing you right here a bunch of different exercises you can do. Hamstring curls, donkey kicks. Hey, Colleen. Yeah. I'm going to have you use this for donkey kicks. I think that'll be good for you. Leg extensions, really dope. I wonder if I could even connect this to my donkey or to some cables, I might do that. And then high knees, and so this is like a hip flexor lift. Let's see how it works. Pull, release, tab to separate straps. I think that's this. Fold the monkey feet to open claws. So this is, are these the claws? I'm folding it, I think I'm opening it. With the dumbbell on the ground, close claws over the handle. Oh, I see, that, those are the claws right there. So here's my dumbbell. I'm going to close the claws, the claws are closed. All right? And then, with the claws closed, I stick my foot in. Right. It's got like a little ratchet. Right. Ratchet it down. Oh, and here it is. I got a dumbbell attached to my foot. I got a dumbbell attached to my heel. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna walk? Kyle, can you do me a favor? Grab me that a little stick. What can I do? Hip flexor lifts. That's cool. I see, I see KOT guy doing this. I can do hamstring curls. Wow. That's actually a really good hamstring curl. I like it. I wonder if I could do two hamstrings at the same time, I think. I have one for each foot. <laughs> I have to float. Cool, what else? Donkey kicks. I can do donkey kicks with it. Wow, there's a whole lot I can do with this. I gotta work this into my routine. Definitely something that's gonna help my KO2 workouts. I like it. Thank you, Animal House Fitness, I love it. My new toy. More stuff to add to the collection. Yo, I hope you enjoyed that workout video. If you did, you ought to know that I'm back with the Yo Elliot videos. You can watch my latest video up here. It's all about getting stronger in the gym. And if you'd like to hear what I have to say about growing stronger in life, then follow me on my Elliot Hulse channel. You can watch the latest video right here. Either way, I hope you enjoy what I got to give. See you next time. Done.